don't, don't, don't call me Superman If you haven't found my crypto What is going on YouTube? This is the Big K Cops 360 here And for a while on this channel We've been talking about eGPUs External GPUs uh, in particular for laptops And it's pretty much where you have a desktop GPU And you like plug it in Or you somehow dock it And it works on the laptop To give that laptop increased graphical performance Now we've seen MSI and Razer in the past Introduce your own little like method of implementing this however in reality we needed either nvidia or amd one of the big two vendors to introduce your own method and standardize the entire like industry if that makes sense to you guys and that's exactly what we've got here amd recently just launched xconnect now xconnect is essentially um allows uh desktop gpus to connect to laptops through Thunderbolt 3 now and in brackets it's got USB-C so I'd assume um, you, you need that type of speed um, in terms of bandwidth and whatnot now the good thing about this is that uh, it opens brand new doors for people who have laptops not everyone uh, get like once a desktop if that makes sense they want a laptop but at the same time maybe if they're at home they want the power of a desktop GPU and they don't want to actually have to buy a separate desktop PC I mean there's definitely uh, definitely sorry a market for this and it seems that AMD has uh, gone and done that I mean of course this is not like an AMD bloody like creation of course MSI has tried this in the past Razer has I believe as well I believe AMD worked with Razer to actually bring you guys this because I believe a um sorry not AMD I believe Razer uh, had something very very similar to this if not exactly the same so I wouldn't be surprised if they work together and I believe Nvidia also does uh, have support for this entire Thunderbolt 3 standard or whatever but um look getting to the point um, it's not going to be as easy as supporting any laptop with Thunderbolt 3. There are very specific hardware and software requirements that a given laptop will need. So for example, at the moment, one of the most known laptops that will actually support AMD X Connect is the Razer Blade Stealth. Now it's an ultra book by Razer. I believe it's a gaming, uh, gaming notebook. It's a Razer. What else would it be? And, um, yeah. So what are these requirements? Well, pretty much... You need uh, the laptop's BIOS to allow this plug and play functionality, which will actually allow the GPU to just be plugged in and like work on the laptop. I mean, as you guys know, BIOSes are very, very critical in situations like this, especially um, when upgrading a laptop GPU. If you've ever done that, uh, a lot of the time, it just the upgrade will not work, even if you insert a new MXM card because the BIOS just doesn't support the GPU. So you need all this custom BIOS shit, and it's just a very very just difficult time dealing with it but um anyway yeah you need that um you need the bios to support this entire and uh, this entire method i guess of introducing a new gpu to the system uh what else do you need you also need windows 10 uh you need an active thunderbolt 3 cable not a not a passive one you need an active one so you can meet those bandwidth requirements needed for that gpu because of course i said because of course i'm retarded uh sorry because the GPU needs adequate power, it needs adequate bandwidth, otherwise what's the point? It's going to perform like shit, and there's just going to be no point in buying it, you're literally just wasting money. And you also need at least version 16 or later of the Thunderbolt firmware, and that's pretty much it. So essentially, all in all, you need um, the latest Thunderbolt uh, firmware or version 16 or later, you need Windows 10 need a laptop that supports it through its BIOS and you need an external GPU so there's a few things you need but hopefully this actually becomes standardized hopefully laptop vendors actually like keep this in mind maybe we can see this in ultra books man we should be seeing this in like cheap as hell laptops if ASOF for example uh, releases like a $400 laptop and all it has is just like a this all it needs is a Thunderbolt connector and then it's got like a decent, like a not a decent CPU, but like a average CPU. Someone puts in the mid end or uh, low to mid end desktop GPU in there, then they've got a little portable gaming machine. Easy as that. The possibilities are limitless with this. But of course, we need the support for this. And of course, firstly, not firstly, lastly, what GPUs are actually supported? That was a terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, flow through that I just did that terrible link anyway the GPUs that are supported on AMD X Connect include the R9 Fury the Nano the R9 300 series of GPUs the R9 290 and the 290X the 280 and all of the Polaris GPUs and keep in mind they're also supporting 
all mobile DGPUs based on what is above. So of course it will support the M295X, which is very, very interesting. So yeah, I know if you want to plug in an M295X as well, maybe run it in Crossfire, maybe. I don't know how it's going to work, but it's just interesting to see. So look, anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And look, tell me what you think about this. This is pretty cool. We're actually seeing this whole eGPU thing, eGFX as AMD is calling it, be standardized. It's about damn time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you later.